Hello guys, welcome back. This is the tutorial number 21 on Kirio Control UTM Configuration Series. This is Saifuddin Ghanizadeh. In this tutorial, I will cover the URL group submenu under Configuration menu. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how you can add a new URL group, how you can delete URL groups, how you can edit a specific URL group and its content, how to exclude specific URL groups statistics, and how to use URL in content filtering. Let's start. First of all, open a web browser, navigate to the Kirio Control Administration panel, enter the username and password, and click on the login button. Under the configuration menu, scroll down and click on the URL groups submenu. By default, there are some pre configured URL groups such as Adobe updates, ads or banners, Apple updates, automatic updates, Java updates, and Microsoft updates. Each of these URL groups have specific websites under it. For example, under Adobe Updates, you can see that we have specific websites listed. And so under the Apple Updates, and so under Java Updates and Microsoft Updates. The automatic updates is a collection of the URL groups. As you can see guys, that Adobe Updates, Apple Updates, Java and Microsoft Updates are all gathered and named under the group of automatic updates. First of all, let's create a new URL group. To create a new URL group, click on the Add button, select this option, Create New, and give a name for the URL group. Under the Properties, select URL, and type the URL which you want to add to this social media website's URL group. You can use the description to specify which URL is it or add a specific information about the URL. Press the OK button to create the new URL group. Here you can see guys that the new URL group by the name of social media websites is created and the website www.facebook.com is linked with it. Now let's add some more websites under the social media websites URL group. To add a specific URL under existing URL group, select the first option which is select existing and from the drop down select the URL group which you want to add the URL to. I have selected the social media website and here I will write the URL which I want to add under the social media websites URL group. and press the OK button to add it under the social media websites. Let me show you a trick. If you want to completely block or allow a specific URL, you have to add a historic in the start. For example, I will add the word Twitter. I will write historic and then dot, and then I will write down Twitter and then again dot, and again historic. This will add all those websites to the social media website group which contains the word Twitter inside itself. Press the OK button to add it to the social media website URL group. If you want to edit a specific URL under a URL group, first select the URL and then click on the edit button. Modify the URL and then Press the OK button. The URL will be updated. If you want to remove a specific URL from a URL group, select the URL and click the Remove button. The URL will be removed from the URL group. But if you want to delete an entire URL group, first you need to select all the websites under that specific URL group 
and then click on the remove button. It will remove the entire URL group. Now, let me show you how you can exclude a specific URLs statistic from Kirio control accounting and monitoring. Let me reset this option. Click on the account and monitoring. Under the data gathering tab, you can see this option, accounting exceptions. Here it has an option to exclude the website statistic from a specific URL. All you have to do is to select that specific URL group. For example, I want to exclude the statistic of all those websites which are added under the Apple updates URL group. Click on the apply and now Curio Control will exclude the statistic of those websites which are under the Apple updates URL group. Let me show you how you can use the URL group in content filtering. Click on the content filter. As you can see guys, that there is already two rules pre-configured and the detected content type is URL group. For example, I want to block all the social media websites at once. It's very hard for me to create a new rule and then add all the websites one by one. There are thousands of social media applications and websites and it's not a good practice to add them individually. The best way is that first you should create a URL group. Let's create a new one for social media websites. Now that I have created a new URL group, let's switch back to the content filtering. Using the URL group, now I can block all those social media websites which are added under the social media websites URL group. I will create a new rule. And from the detected content type, I will select URL groups and then I will select the social media websites. Press OK, press OK again, and from the action, I will select Deny. Now, all those URLs that are added under social media websites will be blocked by default. And it's so easy to add a new URL under the social media websites URL group. For example, today I found a new website by the name of, for example, www.abc.com which is a new social media website and I want to block all the traffic which belongs to this specific website. I will add the URL under social media websites and press OK and then press the apply button. Now all the statistics which belong to ABC social media website will be automatically excluded and also the ABC social media website will be automatically blocked using the content filter menu. Another simple trick that you can also limit the bandwidth of a specific URL groups. All you have to do is first create a new content filter rule. For example, I have created a content filter rule for social media websites. Now I can use this content filter rule to limit the bandwidth of those specific websites which are listed under social media websites URL group. Let me show you how. Go to the bandwidth management create a new rule, name the rule. From the traffic type, you have to select the content rule. Select the content rule and select that specific content filter rule which we have created. Block social media websites. Press OK, press OK again. Now you can limit the usage. For example, I don't want the social media websites to exceed one Mbps of upload and one Mbps of download. Click on apply button. Now, if you want to add or delete a specific website from the social media group, all you have to do is go to the URL groups, scroll down and remove or add a new website to the social media URL groups. And that's all for today, guys. If you need any help, Comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.
Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will catch you very soon with another tutorial. Till then, have nice time.